In today's video, I'm going to show you an A-gap pressure in Madden 21 from the 3-4 Bear defense. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and in today's video, um, I want to welcome you to my channel. For those of you that have never been a part of my channel before, I want to let you know my channel posts four videos a day here on YouTube that will give you some type of tip, strategy, tactic, blitz, money scheme, anything like that. And so in today's video, um, what we're going to be talking about is a free blitz from 3-4 Bear. Now, if you want to stay up to date with everything that we're doing in YouTube, I want to encourage you right now to go ahead and click subscribe, um, and that's going to keep you up to date about every single thing that I have coming out in Madden NFL 21. Now, we're going to show you a blitz today out of 3-4 Bear. All you're going to do is pick to play cover three. Now, the setup is to pinch your defensive line, baseline press coverage, crash your defensive line down. You're going to then blitz both linebackers on the left side of the screen, as you can see right here. And then I just keep it contained. And what you'll see at the snap of the ball is you're going to scream with a gap pressure from that nose guard. Now, again, most of the time you want to have your fastest guy at nose guard. Most of the time that's going to come completely free. Um, sometimes you will get a little bit caught up. But we'll show you this one more time here. Uh, and again, I like to pinch the line. I think pinching the line does help the blitz come through just a little bit. Um, as you see right there, you're able to get that little instant shed rush to the sack. So. Um, if you don't pinch the line, I do want to show you that real quick. So something like this, snap of the ball. And as you'll see here, it's just not going to happen if you don't pinch the line. So you do want to be pinching the line. This blitz does not come in every single time um, because of the, some of the patches and things that they've done uh, recently with the defense. But I think it does come in enough to justify it. As you see here, you're going to get these quick disengages, and you're going to come in. If it doesn't come in completely clean, you're going to quick, get a quick um, instant disengage um, from your defensive line. So snap of the ball here, and as you see right there, you see how you're going to scream through with A-gap and B-gap pressure. Now, I apologize in the setup. I will correct this in the description. So if you're looking for the setup, go ahead and put it in the description. I'm sorry when I said to crash the line down, I was thinking about a different blitz setup I was going to talk about later. You want to crash the line to the left. I'm sorry. So when you crash the line to the left, what that's going to do is it's going to open up that angle, and then you're going to get that nose guard to come right through the middle of the field. So my apologies on that. Again, what you're going to do here – Baseline press coverage. Um, now, if your linebackers go into the gap like that, one of the things that I like to do um, is to go ahead and just pinch them. Um, but you're going to do something like this right here. And as you can see here, it's just a simple uh, overload pressure, uh, typically going to come through the gap. Now, you don't really want the linebackers to come into the gaps. Um, what you want is you want them to be backed off. You want this, the swap um, exchange. You see here, he sometimes will come in the gap like that when you pinch the line. Just bring him back out. It's going to help with the pressure. And you'll see uh, right here, keep it contained, snap of the ball, and you're going to be screaming through. Uh, I think the blitz got a little bit messed up on that. But you, you really want to keep that linebacker back. You don't want him to come in the middle. Um, so if, if you can at all um, keep him back, if you mainly move him back, that's going to be most ideal. It happens more so in practice when it does a real game. But when you keep him back, you are going to get that pressure in. Now, practice was kind of adapting to this as I've ran it over and over again. But... This is the setup um, for you guys. So, again, this A-gap pressure, very, very simple. Typically, if it doesn't come from the A-gap, you're going to see you're going to get that contain to come through, as you see right there. Um, one of the other things that you can do from this um, is also with some uh, – um, if you don't contain, if you just pinch and crash left, you will see um, it does it does sometimes come cleaner, but most of the time I think contain is going to help with the overall uh, pressure. So uh, anyways, guys, this is a quick blitz out of 3-4 Bear that I wanted to put on your radar. 3-4 um, Bear is really good this year. Um, it's still really, really good. A lot of gap pressure this year, a lot of different things like that. Um, looks like practice mode is kind of adapting to everything that I'm doing here. So one of the challenges with practice mode, but... If you go into head-to-head, -head, you will see um, this blitz. And what's cool is you can run it off the other side. Um, you can literally something like this right here, and you'll see here at the snap of the ball, um, you're going to get that same basic rush to the to the right side. It doesn't come in as clean to the right side at all. I just wanted to do that to reset the angles uh, in practice mode so that I can show you the blitz off the left side again. What you see here, snap of the ball and typically will come in. One other thing I did want to tell you, um, and this is just a little bonus tip, 3-4 bear, if you pitch your line down, crash it down, and then keep it contained, you're still going to get pretty decent pressure. Um, the disengages will sometimes come in. They don't come in as regularly as they did because of the patch, but they will sometimes come in, especially if you spy 
especially if you spy uh, one of your other guys in the line of scrimmage. So like if I take this right screen backer here and spy him, what you're going to see is, you see how that kind of glitches um, and the disengage is kind of there? Um, you can do that on both sides as well. If you spy the left screen backer or the right screen backer, um, it's going to help with the pressure. Um, going to help it come in a little bit more consistently here. You see there, there we get that A gap coming through. Um, then he just gets a quick instant shed and is able to get to the quarterback. So that's three, four bear guys. If you haven't already, make sure to jump in the Discord. Discord is the best place. I'm going to be sharing um, setups, different things in there. Um, got a lot of people in there. Discord is basically a community platform where we talk Madden 24-7. So be sure to do that. That link is in the description, and we will see you guys on tonight's live stream.